Thank you so much, President. And I'm going to start by saying that this was a speech I didn't expect to be making until a few moments ago. But it is important that we celebrate International Women's Day, and especially this one, some hundred years since this celebration was first proposed. And it should be a day, yes, to celebrate how far women have come, but yes, also to raise awareness about how much further we still have to travel. Travel in terms of equality. You exhorted, uh, President, that there should be more women in this Parliament. The achievements are good, but they're still not good enough. And if I look at the Parliament in my own country, some estimates say it will take us 200 years to reach parity at the current rate of progress. So we are not going fast enough uh, to really achieve a proper equality. The other issue that this Parliament is working on this week is human trafficking and violence against women. Last week I visited a centre or an exhibition in my constituency at home with a, an exhibition of paintings and photographs of women who had been trafficked from a country next to our union, from Moldova into our union. Some estimates say that women and men indeed, people, are being trafficked at a rate as high in numbers as was comparable with the whole of the African slave trade in 350 years. But women are the main victims. And if we as a European community cannot do something about this and deal with the women who are the victims of that trade, then it would be a poor thing if we do not make progress on this day. The other issue we should concentrate on are the many women's health issues that have to be addressed and that are not given the time and energy that they should be. So much has been achieved, much can be celebrated, but very, very much more to do. Thank you.